All right, let's look at some more numbers. So we also have the even integers and the odd integers. Now, an even integer or an even number are numbers such as negative 2, 0, 2, and so forth. Now, it's important to note that we include 0 as well as the negative integers. The odd integer is an odd number, for example, minus 3, minus 1, 1. And this also includes all the negative integers. Now, an odd number can be expressed as 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1. All right, moving on to prime numbers. So a prime number is a whole number that is greater than 1 and has factors only itself and number 1. So some examples of a prime number would be 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, and so forth. So these numbers have factors only itself and a number 1. Now, a fraction is a number that can be expressed as a proportion of two whole numbers. So it's a numerator over a denominator. The greatest common divisor is the biggest common factor. And the least common multiple is the smallest common multiple of two numbers or three numbers. A decimal is a number is another name for a fraction, and it's normally expressed as below. So this is the hundredth digit, units digit, and hundredth digit. And here we have the tens digit, the tenth digit, and the thousandth digit. So we could convert fractions into decimals. For example, 1 over 2, or 1 half, can be expressed as 0 0.5. We could also have 1 over 3, which in decimals we can express as 0 0.3333 and so forth. Now let's look at um, the greatest common divisor. Let's say we have 15 and 20. If we divide them, if we get their factors, we have 5. And we're left with 3 and 4. So the greatest common divisor for 15 and 20 in this case is 5, as we see it. And we can also get the least common multiple of 15 and 20. And by that calculation, we get 5 times 3 times 4. So we get 60.